what did health and wellness mean to you when you first started off playing? It didn't really mean a lot because we didn't understand what, what it was. I think the game's in a good place. I think I've noticed from when I've started, when they really started looking after, as you said, all the physical things. Are we fit enough? You know, are we strong enough? Are we eating the right foods? To realising that, you know what, we want, we want the guys to be mentally in a good place as well. That's really, really important to get the best out of them and for, to help them flourish. You know, when we finished the session, we'd, we'd maybe go into the cafe in UL and, you know, have deep fried chicken and chips and stuff. And we didn't really understand that, you know, that was, wasn't helping us. In your career, Quinny, uh, best on the, on, on the nutrition side? Donnico Callan was someone who was just obsessed with finding ways of cutting the body fast. Peter Stringer was another guy. Um, they were quite vain as well. They liked the way they, the way they looked in the mirror as well. Stringer would always lift up the top and show his six pack where I was afraid because uh, you know I had a bit of condition on me. But Gordon Darcy got really, really good at it. He was player of the, of the year, I think, in the Six he Nations. Changed his body shape at the start. He was quite. He was a huge. Well, no, bulky. I think he was a big man at the start. Draco was bulky at times as well. <laughs> Draco got good as well. He was very bulky for a while. Right, Quinny, now leaving yourself aside, um, who's the best trainer? Paul was, was incredibly driven to, to get the best out of himself. Rog O'Gara, he was incredible trying to you know, push himself so hard in fitness sessions. Uh, recovery was as important and, and we didn't buy into that as much in the earlier days. We didn't realise the, the benefits of it. The guy who stands out from a recovery perspective is, is probably Jamie Heaslip. I mean, there's periods you know, during pre-season towards the end of his career where he was sleeping in an oxygen tent. I don't know what his missus was doing uh, where she was sleeping. She must have been the fittest. They were the fittest couple ever, I'd say. Fergus McFadden for me. Like he just trained like a lunatic, you know, he's so fit, like really naturally gifted. 